Residents in Savannah's Ugichiton neighborhood are pleading for help. The neighborhood is located near Beach High School. They tell us dust from a construction site has been polluting their streets and making them sick for more than 40 years. Now neighbors are taking matters into their own hands. And WSAV's Kaylee Fedko is joining us live from the neighborhood with this developing story tonight. Well, good evening, Ben. That's right. Residents here on Julia Law Street all echo the same sentiment. Enough is enough. They say the dust from the cement block building happening right behind me on Tremont Road is not only providing discomfort, but is ruining their livelihood. Dust, debris, and discomfort. I'm a prisoner in my own home. That's what residents in this Ogeechiton neighborhood say they face every day, living next to the Clark's Block construction site where cement blocks are made. Many of the residents started getting respiratory problems, such as shortness of breath, uh, and many of them were on oxygen, that we began to realize that there is a problem. Johnny and Richard Law are lifetime residents and presidents of the Ogeechitin Dawes Neighborhood Association. And they say the pollution from the construction is causing inconvenience and discomfort to their neighbors. And Wednesday, they're holding a press conference right outside the site. We are trying to get the attention of the city, the county, and all the residents in this area. The laws say they've petitioned city council in the past, but the problem is ongoing. Brenda Johnson is also a lifetime resident who says she's been wearing a mask for over 20 years because of the pollution. It's just aggravating. And this dust is, I mean, the dust is everywhere. It's everywhere. And it's hard for me to breathe. And I walk out, I have to have a mask on. Johnson says she's received medical treatment for her breathing, which her doctor says is a direct result of the dust. And she's got me taking, I'm using a, 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 a pump twice a day. And sometimes that don't even help. It don't help. That's why I just I say I may as well stay in my house. She hopes Wednesday's press conference will be the start of a solution. Please show up, because we do need help out here. We really do. Now, News 3 did reach out to Charles Block, and we have not yet received a response. Tomorrow's meeting begins at noon, and it will be right here where I'm standing. Reporting live in Savannah, Kaylee Fedko, WSAV News 3, on your side. All right, thank you so much.